Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful animation using Morph Transition. This template perfectly suits for preschool students to illustrate different parts of the plant and you can use the same trick to create similar kind of animations with the help of images. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first go to View tab and then enable the guides. Next go to Insert tab and then browse a plant picture of your choice and then add it into the slide. Reduce the image size and align it as shown. Let's add the heading text to finalize the first slide. Next select this image, go to selection pane and rename it as colored as we are shortly going to create a grey version of this image. Next duplicate the first slide. And on the second slide, delete the heading text, align the image at center and then increase its size. Now duplicate this image and change its color to grayscale. Align duplicate image perfectly over the original image and then rename it as gray under selection pane. Now let's animate this gray image. First let's enable the animation pane. Keeping grayscale image selected, let's apply appear animation and then start it after previous. Finally, send this grayscale image to back so that the colored image remains on the top. Next let's create the target frames using inbuilt L shape. Draw this shape onto the slide. Adjust its shape using edit points and then set its height and weight to 0.5 units. Remove its outline and then change its fill color to red. Now let's rotate it and then place it at the slide corner as shown. Duplicate the cell shape 3 more times, rotate and then place them at other 3 corners of the slide as shown. Finally, we are done with the second slide. Next duplicate the second slide. And on the third slide, let's remove appear animation from grayscale image as it is not required on the third slide. Now let's select both the images. We can make use of selection pane and then select them easily. And then increase the size of both the images. Align both the images so that the flower comes at the middle of the slide area as shown. Once done, let's select the colored image. Go to picture format menu, enable the crop tool and then crop the image to show only the flower section. Now apply border to this image so that its corners are visible and it will help us to place the L shaped target frame around it. Finally, let's arrange the L shapes around the outline as shown. Next duplicate the third slide and on the fourth slide, select and align both the images so that the fruit comes at the middle of the slide area as shown. Now select the cropped color image. Enable the crop tool and then again crop this image to the fruit section. Finally, keeping border as reference, align all L shapes around its corners. So from now on, these steps will remain same. We will duplicate these slides and on each slide, we will crop the colored image to different sections of the plant like leaves, stem and finally the roots. Let's speed up to save time. Finally, let's duplicate this slide one more time 
and on the last slide let's reduce the size of both images since one of the image is cropped they will not be aligned properly as shown so to align them back select the colored image enable the crop tool and then crop this image to show it in full size now just drag and align both the images also let's drag all l shapes outside the slide area and then add the heading text to finalize this slide now we can also remove the red color image borders from all the slides and let's do it real quick next go to insert tab and then draw a elbow connector change its outline color and then increase its weight also format this connector with end arrow type and increase its size as per the requirement now copy this connector and paste it into other slides pointing it to different elements of the plant let's speed up to save time finally let's quickly copy and paste the text fields into all slides Once done, delete the last slide as we have used all the text fields. Now it's time to create some simple animations. Let's activate the animation pane and then apply wipe animation to connector line. Change the animation direction to right, basically in the direction of connector line and then start it after previous. Next select both the text fields, apply fade animation and then start them after previous similarly let's apply wipe animation to connector lines and fade animation to text fields on every slides remember to change the wipe animation direction as per the connector line direction and start all these animations after previous let's speed up to save time Finally, select all slides and apply morph transition. Also reduce the duration to 1 second. So, here is the final preview of this beautiful animation. Hope you all liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such tutorials.